Okay, let's talk about the cross draw configuration a little bit. I'm just going to pretend my left hand is a cross draw. I'm going to move it around and angle it like a cross draw would normally set on a rig. Now you'll see a lot of people that, that wear their cross draws back over here and that's okay but the only thing you have to do with that is do the, what we call a cross draw dance and what that is, is you don't want to break the 170 that's that's the a critical thing because you'll be uh, stage DQ'd if you do so muzzle never breaks the 170 so if I drew this gun from here and come out you can see that it's breaking that 170 so what you have to do is a cross draw dance so you stay here, you need to turn your hips, come out with the gun, come back and fire, and then you need to turn your hips to bring the gun back. Otherwise, you can break that 170. A better solution for that is to move that cross draw all around over here, over your leg, and then simply shoot with the left leg forward. Now, when I draw that gun, it's coming out and not breaking the 170. So therefore, I don't have to do the cross draw dance. And I can simply come down, draw the gun, come out and shoot it, and you roll, and after you shoot the gun, you roll it back over into your left hand, grip it, and look it back in the holster, and it's a simple let go, go for your other gun. So that's the difference in the cross draw. There's some very successful shooters that shoot cross draw. A lot of, some of them are even shooting a straight up and down holster and, instead of the angled holster. And that way it's just right over them here. They can come right up and back down. And that works very effectively. The one thing I've been seeing a few of the shooters doing, which I think is very hazardous, is they are shooting with, with a cross, with a cut down holster right here. And so they want to shoot their right gun first and they want to shoot this gun second so they can be turning and moving. What happens is some of them are shooting that right gun. They come out here and they shoot that right gun. And as they're coming back with this gun, they go ahead and reach down and be grabbing this gun out of the holster and turning it so it's a little bit quicker so they can go boom and then come in and be grabbing it this way. The problem with that, especially on a cut down hose. If you happen not to get down on the top strap and you come in here and you grab that gun, you pull it out, you can grab that hammer and end up with this. And now you got a live gun cocked pointing at your leg or even in the worst situation, maybe coming up this way and get a little confused and be pointing at somebody else. I would suggest if, that's, if you're wanting to shoot the right and the left gun, just go ahead shoot this gun first and take that time, put it away and grab this. You know, that half a second's not gonna hurt anybody, but this other deal sure might.